Hey everyone, I don't feel like being on camera tonight, but I wanted to tell you about something that I learned tonight that was really cool. I just finished a one hour long uh, Zoom tour of Seattle by a man named David V. Williams, who's a geologist, and he's written a book called Too High and Too Steep, Reshaping Seattle's Topography. I'm not from Seattle. I'm from Chicago. Uh, I've been to Seattle a number of times, and I'd never heard of this, so I just thought it would be cool to, uh, to sign up for this little tour. David talked about the Denny Hill regrade, which took place from 1897 to 1930. There was a 100-foot hill in the middle of Seattle, or just north of where downtown Seattle is today. I guess it really wasn't in the middle of Seattle at that time. But anyway, they decided they wanted it to be easier for businesses to exist in the city. So over the course of 33 years, they chopped the hill down in stages. They uh, got rid of a lot of homes and a beautiful large hotel and they chopped a school in half because half of it was in one stage or half of it was chopped down in one stage and then half of it was saved for later and they used hydraulic pressure so the sediment was so loose that they could just uh, shoot water onto it and it crumbled and the homeowners actually kept their property but the uh, the houses were much lower after the project so he actually said that some of the homes, well, that they moved the homes down very gradually and sometimes also to the side on jacks. And the, it was so gradual that somebody said they could still play a game of billiards in their home while it was being moved. And they put all the sediment, a tremendous amount of sediment. Um, I don't remember how many square blocks of the city, but it's quite a few. You can find it on a map if you want to. They put the sediment, they just dumped it into the bay. Um, they put it on barges. Uh, by way of conveyor belts, dumped it into the bay. And obviously, environmentally not cool, but um, they did those things back then. Uh, hopefully not today. Anyway, I thought this was really, really interesting. Um, some new knowledge about a city I hope to return to someday. And again, the author is David B. Williams. So have a good day and I'll see you soon.